All right, so today we're going to replace the uh, the cylinder lock and the door handle. Um, I'm not using my stabilizer just because it's in such a small confined area and the stabilizer is too big. So I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. I will do my best to keep it uh, straight. And so right here is the back of the door handle. There's two 10 millimeter bolts. There's one right there and like one over here. Right there and right there. Now you want to disconnect this first. You want to disconnect that first because you do not want to break that. Very important, do not break. That little Phillips head screw right there, it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be a bitch. You'll probably end up stripping it and you're going to get pissed off. So take your time, be very gentle, and be very careful. Alright, so we got that off. What it does is, I'm assuming it detects whether the door is locked or unlocked. That's my best guess. Because this little thing in the center turns and it connects to that little piece right there. All right, and the next thing you wanna do is get that little white clip and you want to push that up. Do not break it, very important. Life will suck if you break it. All right, so we got that thing popped up and we turned it upward and now we can slide that out and next we're going to get the 10 millimeter bolts the two of them all right so we've got them uh pulled out and your door handle is loose you just want to try to shimmy that thing down the best you can all right and the last thing to do is to unscrew this piece I don't think you can see very well so it looks like this it's just thread it and you just unscrew it by twisting the door handle this is what I mean by twisting it off And you want to remember how far down on the threads it was. Okay, now that you have your door handle off. Um, all right, there is a clip in there that you got to try to dig out. I just use a pair of needle nose pliers. There's the clip. Here is your lock cylinder. All you gotta do is push it out. If you'll focus. Come on, you were focused. There you go. Push it out and that's it. Now we take the, the new one and we push it back in. And we gotta slide that clip back in there. Make sure it's nice and secure, and there you go. Now we have a new lock. Got the key. And while you're in here, just go ahead and grease everything up. Look at that beautiful car. I'm not going to show you how to do the other side or show you how to reinstall this because it's 
the same process as putting it back in or taking it out just backwards but yeah i'm not gonna lie man i i struggled i had no clue how this thing how to do it and i struggled it took me a long time to get this to get this apart but once it once you figure it out it's just like oh my god that's so simple but yeah i destroyed this one that's why i'm, I'm glad i have these door handles to practice on all right it's uh a pretty simple process I did struggle quite a bit with the lock cylinder um, on the old door handle uh, fucked it up pretty good but you know it's, it was a learning experience I've never done this before you just can't be afraid to get in there and do it and hopefully you have a spare in case you fuck shit up But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next video.